I noticed there's a misinformation campaign happening regarding all of the Trump endorsed candidates. I'm hearing really random things that are not necessarily true. So for instance, um, things about Gus Bilirakis that I've heard that are actually contrary to what he's done. Then I've heard like people going after Trump saying, you know, he's pro vaccine. Well, the truth isn't he's not. When I was at the, I was going to say the White House South. When I was at the White House South um, at Mar-a-Lago. The, su- the winter White House. The winter White House. Yeah. Um, I heard him say he was proud of the vaccine he created. and But this is, the media never shows more than that. That's all you hear. He goes, for the people who wanted it. But if you don't want the vaccine, you should never be mandated to take it. That part never makes it into the media. I don't know. And because I think they realize like the health freedom movement, those people that used to be kind of independents who weren't sure they wanted to be a political, those people have jumped on with the conservative movement. We're actually growing. Um, And I don't think the election was a 50, 51 or 49, 51 split. That's not what it was. I'll tell you, I think it was like 80, 20. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it was there, but, um, but I, but I think, you know, everybody, you know, is like hammering Trump because they Mm -hmm. say he's Mm pro-vaccine. I don't think he's Mm pro-vaccine, but, but I think Trump is a, a see it, get it done kind Mm -hmm. of person. Yeah. Unlike anybody else that we've ever had. I mean, you Mm -hmm. look at some of the things he's gotten done and, you know, warp speed, I think he has a reason to be proud of that, no matter yeah. what what the make of it is, because somebody said they can't do it. You have to understand, he was in a box when when the China virus came around yeah. that he that he couldn't that no door would be the right door to walk through, that right. that he he couldn't get out of it if he if he addressed it and like went all in on the vaccine and the mandates and the mask, he would be skewered. If he did nothing, he would be skewered. There's, there was no middle ground. There was nothing. So I think what he did was he, he tried to get, I mean, we've all taken vaccines. Yeah. We've all taken medicine. I often, people are like, ah, the vaccines. I'm like, I don't even know what's in Tylenol. And I've been taking it my whole life. You know, I, <laughs> I, you know I, I give like Advil to my kids. I don't know what's in it. I just give it to them because it seems like it might help, you know. But, you know, if he went to an effort to get something that he thought would help, mm-hmm. I mean, he's not a scientist. Right. You know, he's like, okay, I'm going to give the drug makers that we have, that we use, the ability to go make it without being mm-hmm. bridled. Yeah. I think he looked at that as, hey, that's a success. I got something that in nine months that people say it would take five years. Yeah. There's no way he's going to run away from that success. Yeah. There's no way he's going to say, oh, well, that was a terrible thing. Because he, that's like a you know, a trophy on his mantle. Yeah. So, but at the same time, he's like, but if you don't want it, and we're not going to force you to take it. I think there's some even on the right that, you know, are trying to skew his words mm-hmm. and, and yeah. paint him into a weird box that I don't think is true. I mean, yeah. so I, listen, if you want to take the vaccine, take the vaccine. <laughs> you know, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask, you know, but I don't know. I, I don't think Trump has done a bad job with any of that. No, I don't think you know. he did either.